Today we're going to show you how to take beautiful buckets to new heights. Excuse the pun. Many of us have large walls in our houses surrounding us often. And what do we do with them? Well, besides putting up a piece of trellis or maybe trying to put up a basket, why don't we try something completely different? Today, we're going to be using these beautiful galvanized buckets, attaching them to the wall with some brackets, creating a focal point. And remember, things need to work in odds. So one bucket on this wall, gonna look a bit lost, guys. Two buckets, gonna look just odd. Three's the number. Threes, five, sevens. Remember, it's all about the odd numbers. And man, I have wanted to do this for so long, it's gonna look absolutely wicked. Stick with me while I take you through the easy steps. What you'll need for this DIY is three 10 liter galvanized buckets, one times pliers, three lengths of 500 mil chain to your liking and desire, three S hooks, three brackets that are the scroll design, six nail and anchors, which are six by 55 millimeters, a hammer, a tape measure, a marker pen, spirit level, masonry drill bit, metal drill bit, a cordless drill, and an impact drill. Now, everyone's wall is going to be different, and of course, your spacing and your height. But just remember the following. When working in threes, you want to find your center point of the wall or wherever you want your feature to be. So the first thing you need to do is look at the measurement of the wall. So this is 1.8 or 1800 millimeters. So that means the center point of my wall is going to be 900. So I'm looking at that and here is my center point and I'm gonna mark it just on the concrete here. Once you've got your first bracket up, remember that's gonna be your center point. From there, whatever distance you choose, just make sure it's the same on that side and the same on that side. First up, let's get the height of where my bracket is going to go. Using my spirit level as my guide, because remember that if I use this tool properly, I'm going to make sure that I am going at the right height. So make sure that your spirit level up here is nice and equal. The other point that I want to make when putting up brackets is always remember safety. Putting it at this height where somebody could knock their head on it is very, very dangerous, which is why I prefer to have them higher with a bit of chain, which means that you're really going to see the plant that you're hanging there. Right, so we've got the height. There we go. That is where my first bracket is going to go. All I want to do now is just mark it out. Right, guys, next up is the fun part is to get these holes drilled at my marks one and two. So off we go. Slow and steady, let the drill do the work. Beautiful, two holes are through. Let's get the bracket up. When getting your brackets in, all we need to do is line it up, pop in our nail and anchors in, and give it a good whack. Now that the bracket is up, which is our center point, because I'm wanting equal spaces, I'm gonna be going 500 from my center point across. So, very easy. All we do is we measure it, and I'm gonna go from the outside of this bracket. Okay. Across, let's get our 500, perfect. And that is where I know I can then put my next bracket measurements. There we go. We know that vertically we are going to be straight. Make a little mark there so we know where that is, where we need to be able to put our bracket back. Next up, I wanna make sure that it's level with this guy. And the way we do that is simply take our spirit level, pop it on top of your equal points, which is going to be this top section here. Adjust it slightly, we might need to go down a bit. There are my two marks, and I know my brackets will now be at the same height. Now that the second hole is drilled, we just follow the same process. Pop in our nail and anchors, and get the bracket up. Now that the second bracket is up, we simply repeat the same process as we did before. Do the measurements, get your alignment, get your marks, and then do the drilling. The hard work has now been done. The brackets are up. All we've got to do, attach our chain, use our S hooks, plant up our buckets, and let the beauty begin. To prep the galvanized buckets ready for planting, we obviously need some drainage holes. I'm using a steel drill bit, suitable for steel and wood. And all I'm using is a piece of wood here so that when I do drill through, I'm not going to damage the end of the drill bit when I go into the concrete. Not a good idea. Hmm. Three, 
three beautiful holes. All you do now is repeat the process for the other two. Because I'm using quite established plants going into my bucket, I'm going to need to remove the handle. All we're going to do is, and this is where the pliers comes in, is grab it on the edge and simply bend it. And when we bend it, what we're going to be doing is just giving enough leverage to be able to remove this handle. Just bend it and it should just pop out, just like that. Right, our mixture is really simple for this, folks. We're using a good quality potting soil bought from builders. We're going to use about three litres of that, pop it into my trug. And this is for one individual pot. All right, so you're just going to repeat this for however many pots you've got. So in terms of ratios, it would be one of these, one palm peat, six parts of potting soil. Pop it in and then because of this volume that I've got, I'm adding in three handfuls of Atlantic Bio Ocean. So a good mix is all we need to get going. Mix it until you can no longer see separate parts of the palm peat to your potting soil and that your pellets are mixed in nice and well. Into the bucket, at the base of it, I want to add in a few drainage pebbles. And all that's going to do is stop soil particles from actually falling through and causing a mess on your paving. So in they go, into the bottom of the bucket. Then we're gonna add in some of our potting soil. We fill our galvanized bucket about three quarters of the way. Take our hand and just firm it down. And now we've got this beautiful begonia. When we're taking this baby out, pop your hand into the plant as deep as possible. Don't be scared, turn it over. There we go. And give it a tap and out comes the pot. Nice and simple. Pop it in and then just fill it in with a bit of our potting soil mixture. Last thing that we need to do before we hang them up is of course replace the handle. All right guys, all three are planted up, ready to go. I'm super, super excited. Now remember, it doesn't have to be begonias in here. You could even plant herbs, um, geraniums. The choices are absolutely endless. Grabbing our little guy, hook him up. Oh man, you are delicious. Guys, all that's left to do is give them a real good watering and water until you see some of the water pouring through the base. You're gonna to need to do this probably once a week would be more than enough. Remember I said as soon as they start getting a bit tall and lanky, give them a bit of a haircut and they'll be good to go. Well, there you go, guys. Taking an average wall to seriously above average. Taking vertical gardening on a different spin. Remember, everything I've used today is available from your local builders, either in-store or online. Also, check out the blog because there are loads more great DIYs and videos and articles to keep you informed and up to date on all things gardening. Get to builders and get it done.